The rematch. Last time Markham faced Aurora, the Royals got destroyed 10-3. They were trying for payback Saturday night against the Tigers. Highlights coming up later on in the show. This is the OGA Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Alex Bastiavansky. On this week's show, the top draft eligible players from across the CJHL uh, descended upon the Port Credit Arena on Tuesday for the annual CJHL Prospects game. And we'll have a story on what exactly went down. Also, uh, Kevin Dean has had a front row seat to the resurgence of the Aurora Tigers this year. Now, the team's play-by-play -play man will join me to chat about what exactly has been working for the squad so far. But first, OJ highlights, and the Orangeville Flyers are really in a life-and-death struggle right now for that eighth and final postseason spot in the Southwest Conference. Every game for them right now uh, has playoff implications as they scramble for every point they can get, which means... They're one dangerous squad, as Oakville found out the hard way last weekend. OJ Highlights now brought to you by Cool Sports, official apparel provider to the OJHL. The Flyers clinging to that eighth and final playoff spot in the Southwest, and they turned a few heads in this game. Uh, Blades hit first, though. Spencer Kirsten and makes it one zip Oakville. Uh, Flyers respond, though. Vincent Bonuto takes the feed. He goes roof daddy pass. Christian Perbu, and it's a 1-1 stalemate. Second period now, top five nominee, former Flint Firebird, Eric Uba, a sniper's eye and touch. Nice, blades back on top, 2-1. Every time Oakville struck though, Orangeville responded. Eric Teander, nice solo rush and finish. Once again, all tied up, it's 2-2. Uh, in the third, the Flyers put the hammer down. It's the Gooch, Nathan Gooch, too strong to handle. And give the Flyers uh, the first lead of the day, and then it's Deander again, uh, biding his time here before pulling the trigger, and the Flyers double their lead to 4-2. The Blades would...